Welcome to CCS TV Weekly, where we bring you highlights and happenings from Coyote County Schools. For November 4th, I'm Josh Johnson. And I'm Dawn Revere. We'll take a look at the weeks ahead for the school system. But first... Coyote County High Schools received their annual report of high school graduation rates at the school system's three base high schools. The percentage of Coyote County School System high school students graduating on time rose 90.5% for the class of 2022. That is a rebound from 2021, which saw a 2% decrease from the year before. Coweta County's four-year graduation rate increased 1.2% for the class of 2022 to back over 90% on-time graduation. That placed Coweta County schools over 6% higher than the state of Georgia's 2022 rate, which also increased from 83.7% to 84.1%. The four-year graduation rate is also called the on-time graduation rate because it tracks the percentage of students who entered the ninth grade and then graduate from a Coweta County High School within four years. We turn to Coweta Schools Curriculum and Accountability Director, Dr. Julie Ration, to explain. Absolutely, it's my pleasure to let you know that our graduation rate stayed above 90% this year and I could not be more proud of the work of our schools, our principals, our students, and our teachers. What I'm seeing in Coweta is pretty steady, is we really made some gains about four or five years ago and when you get above 90%, it can be a challenge to keep your students above 90% every year, but with work beginning in kindergarten all the way up to high school, there is a concerted effort to catch our students and really help them find the path that fits them best. As a result of that, our kids are staying in school longer and graduating with success. It really starts in kindergarten. You know, our focus in elementary is to get those literacy skills so that when they go to middle and high school, they have opportunity in a variety of classes to find the best fit for themselves. And as a result of that academic success, our students in high school can determine whether or not they're looking at a college, whether they're looking at a career. They find a connection of what fits for them, and then it helps with the teachers and the administrators in the high school as they support them to get them there. Individually, East Coyote High School posted a 2022 four-year graduation rate of 91.7%. Noonan High, a rate of 87.7%, and Northgate had a rate of 90.6%. Dr. Ration also discussed the recent national release of 2022 student progress tracked by the National Assessment of Educational Progress, sometimes called the Nation's Report Card. The NAEP showed national student progress on the math and English sections dropping in 2022, although student scores in Georgia remained largely the same. Since NAEP is only given to a representative sample of students across the county each winter, that leaves individual communities like Coweta without local results for comparison. So in Coweta County, over the past five to six years, we've had about four schools during the course of the time that have been sampled. And even in a school, so for example, Lee Middle School was one of the schools that were sampled last year. Mm -hmm. It was only half of their eighth grade. So it's not even a whole grade level, but because it's the small samples, you don't get school or district results. They simply build them into a nationwide report card that gives a picture of what our nation is a Whole looks like. Well, I think what you're seeing in the Georgia, the Georgia test scores is really a reflection that our schools went back face to face much quicker than some states. For example, schools in California were still virtual through last year. We know that virtual learning has an impact, especially in the area of reading. Really, we take a big picture approach in Coweta. We look at our graduate. We look at how our students are successfully accomplishing grade level goals in the next year. We look at our state milestone scores. We look at our access score, which is English language proficiency for our English language learner scores. But we also take into account ACT and SAT. So we get a very broad picture of how our students do, not just in our school system, but in the state of Georgia as well as in the nation. Our students are performing extremely well. On most assessments, if not all that were, have been recently released, we are exceeding nation expectations, and in many cases, we're outperforming Georgia. Now for a look ahead for upcoming events. Here's Noonan High School Junior, Jack Whittemore. On November 4th, all three Coweta County High School teams finish their regular season football matchups. Noonan Cougars play New Manchester at Drake Stadium. The East Coweta Indians play Pebblebrook at Garland Shoemake Stadium. And Northgate's Vikings face Drew in Riverdale. The Nixon Center for Performing and Visual Arts will host a book signing for Noonan author Steve Quisenberry on November 10th from 5 to 7 p.m. The event will mark the release of his book, Better Men, Coweta County, Georgia, and the Vietnam War. Quisenberry taught history at Noonan High for 36 years. 
He served as the Social Sciences Department Chair for 30 of those years, taught classes on World War II and Vietnam War, and established the school's Student Vet Connect program. Other events at the Nixon Center include the East Coweta Middle School play on November 8th, Noonan High School Chorus Concert on November 12th, and East Coweta High School Band Concert on November 15th. For more upcoming Nixon Center events, go to www.thenixoncenter.net. Coweta County Board of Education meets on Tuesday, November 8th at 6.30 p.m. at the school system's Worst Drive Central Office. The regular monthly meetings of the board, held every second Tuesday of the month, can be attended in person or can always be viewed live on the school system CCS TV YouTube channel. And Coweta students are looking forward to the start of Thanksgiving break, held November 19th through the 27th this year. That also means that most Coweta schools are participating in the annual Canathon in partnership with the Noonan Junior Service League. Families can send can and cash contributions to the local effort through November 18th. Thanks, Jack. Coweta Superintendent Evan Horden presented before his fellow superintendents from across the state of Georgia recently. Horden, so Assistant Superintendent Karen Barker, Public Policy Director Mark Whitlock, and Noonan High School Principal Chase Puckett headlined the annual gathering held at the October Georgia Association of Superintendents Annual Conference at the Classic Center in Athens. Horton and school administrators talked with state leaders about how the school system and our community responded to the impact of last year's EF4 tornado and how we continue to teach students despite a devastated community and the loss of two schools. We kept having school. We never stopped. Kids continue to be the priority, just like they always have been, always will be, and we did whatever it took to make sure that we could continue to have school. The Coweta superintendent and administrators talked about the importance of community partners in adapting to emergency situations. Horton also looked forward to the rebuilding of Noonan High School, which is currently underway. Noonan High School, the, the more damaged buildings have all been torn down at this point. Construction has begun on uh, the new buildings at Noonan High School, slated to be completed uh, in August of 2024. Viewers can watch the full Georgia Bootstrap presentation from Coweta County on the System CCS TV YouTube channel. Also, two Coweta County Middle School students were named as the 2022 Coweta Reach Scholars at an October 26th ceremony at the Nixon Center. Reach stands for Realizing Educational Achievement Can Happen. This program was started by Governor Nathan Deal and is a key program of the Complete College Georgia Initiative. This is the eighth year of the REACH scholarship program in the Coweta County School System. And with the support of our local donors, the program will again fund two, two $10,000 scholarships for eighth grade participants. Brooklyn Hutchinson of Blake Bass Middle School and Taj Moore of Evans Middle School became the newest Coweta recipients of the Georgia REACH Scholarship when chosen by a local scholarship committee. REACH is designed to ensure that academically promising students have the academic, social, and financial support to graduate from high school and complete college. The two REACH scholars and their parents signed pledges to maintain good student academic performance and conduct through high school and graduate. When they do, the two students are eligible for $10,000 scholarships towards attending a Georgia Hope Scholarship eligible college or university. To Maya Stafford, a Coweta student currently attending Berry College and one of the first two REACH scholars in 2015, also spoke to attendees on October 26th. Do the things that you love, but also learn to love the things that you get to do. And that's, <laughs> that's all I have. In Coweta County, local donors Bob and Millie Coggin Steve and Marie Swope, and the Edgar B. Hollis Foundation, represented by Robert Hancock, matched state funding for the scholarship provided through the Georgia Student Finance Commission for the scholarships. The patrons of the center work with the school system to manage the program. And that about wraps it up for our first show. Thanks so much for joining us. CCS TV will return throughout the year to bring you stories from the Coweta County school system. Now to close out this episode, 
We'll go now to Coweta Superintendent Evan Horden for parting thoughts. You know, we talk a lot in the school system about the value of partnerships and how those partnerships with local business, industry, civic organizations, and other organizations in our community benefit our students. There are tons of examples of those. Uh, the Central Educational Center, the partnerships uh, with business and industry uh, that built the CEC into what it is today. Uh, the Nixon Center and the partnerships with local community groups to make that dream a reality for our community. Uh, and, and, and those partnerships have been cultivated well before my time as superintendent. There's been an intentional effort uh, in our school system for years to build those. And you know, recently we've been able to see uh, the impact of those partnerships and the benefit uh, that they provide to our school system. Had an opportunity recently uh, to speak to the Georgia School Superintendents Association about the impact uh, of the tornado uh, on our school system and our community and our response to it. And one of the key themes there was that when, when we were at our lowest as a school system uh, in the aftermath of the tornado, we leaned on our community partners to help us to recover. West Georgia Technical College, Noonan Utilities, uh, those partnerships that have been cultivated uh, over the course of the last several decades immediately paid off for us. Uh, and, and they have sustained us through that recovery. So I'm so appreciative of those partnerships. Uh, we're very intentional about continuing to build them. We value them. Uh, and, and one thing that, that I want to end with is uh, we always knew that the school system uh, was important to the community. We certainly found in the aftermath of the tornado the value of the community to the school system and that reciprocal relationship that we have here in Coweta is really something special.